TBN Polska, now on the air 24 hours a day. Welcome to TBN Polska Studios. These are the brand new established. The building was a wreck. They have done everything inside. Okay, Christoph, we're wanting to get the next phase of what's happening now at TBN Polska. So today we are now, where are we? We are in the main place of TBN Poland. It's okay. our main building. Uh, that's where we do the most of production and the marketing work. Okay, and we're near Dansk, yes. Poland. Okay. Everything we see right now, you've done in how long? It took us 11 months. 11 months. So yeah. the ceiling, the floor, the walls, the screens, the everything, the wiring, employees. Wiring, everything, plumbing, wiring, and the area <laughs> around. That's what we were doing here. Okay, so on TBN Europe, got a block of programming. TBN Polska, now on the air, 24 hours a day here in the Polish language. 24 hours a day, you gotta have a studio. That's what's happening here. Yes. So let's go meet and see all the employees and everything that's happening. We'll follow you. Okay. What is the area that we're stepping into now? What, what do we use this part? This place is for a relationship. That's also where we have business meetings yeah. with our partners. And there's Christian Lawyers Association. They also uh, come and work with us. Okay, so all of the people in the, in the room now are the employees of TBN Polska. Yes. In America, we would call this kind of the lunchroom, but you use this more as like a conference room. You have other groups that are a part of TBN Polska that use the room, but these are all the employees now. And exactly. so we'll, we'll get to meet them later. What did this look like before 11 months ago? It was a car garage. It, it was, was, it was a car garage. Car garage. It was an ugly place, there was no wall, we put our walls up, we, uh, we made a uh, uh, you know, floor, ceiling. So if you came here, you would, like, you would rather choose to repair your car. Okay, so this was a place where you pulled cars to be fixed. Exactly. Okay. Now we're pulling in souls to be fixed right wow. here. <laughs> you know, this is so amazing. When was the first time we were here? Two years ago, a little over two years ago? We were here in 2014, now it's 2016. It's a beautiful contingency of businessmen and pastors and leaders from around Poland wanted us to come and to see Kristoff, what, what has happened from that time to this time is just amazing. You guys have done a block of programming, Polish programming, on TV in Europe and now going 24 seven. What we want you to know, those that are viewing right now, is this is the next step. We have wanted to have a incorporation. We finally got the incorporation done. Then we came back and now what is next is 24 seven, you gotta have programming. Yeah. So now we started in one studio, let's go to the next studio. So we're now going into one of the studios so what are you using the green screen for it? We do a kids production. Okay. We also have program where we use vid Christian video clips from all over the world. And we have young people who introduce these productions, video clips in the green studio. So we have playlist of uh, video clips. And that's where our young folks this introduce uh, songwriters, music from this uh, studio. Okay, so this is what you would kind of consider your second studio. Yeah, the first studio was the one that we came from. Now we're in a, what is a green studio, and we're gonna step over here. What what type of program is being is being done just now? We, we call this program someone without way out. Which, uh, there are testimonies of people who were addicted and they g were set free or they were in an awful situation and they prayed to God and God saved them. As actually, all these programs made in this set are about to show God's power, God's love in the life of sinners, how okay. it was changed by His intervention. Okay, so pretty much everything that gets shot over on this studio is basically 
basically a testimony show. Yes. I mean, you're you're giving testimonies of God's love and yes. changing power, and that's what happens here on exactly. this set. That's okay. It. And then what about behind us? I see the. This is more kind of like a newsy looking set or something. We have two productions here. One is about people who uh, had some motives to do good things for people. They had Christian values, they had love of God inside of them, and they decided to use their money or uh, life to serve others, like to gather money to help sick people. You're using this as kind of a, a place to interview people concerning different things that are happening yes. in the Polish community and, yes. and okay. But we have one, one requirement, this ma uh, people we uh, interview, they must be recognized in public. So there are famous or known uh, in public people. I got you. Wow. And this is the set you use for that. That's it. Nice. Let's go. Here is one of the technical rooms and uh, let's take a peek in here. And, okay, so explain what's going on. Uh, in programs from TV and that are, are, they are made in English. In Poland, people want to listen to them in Polish. Yeah. So we dub Polish language, and uh, we, so that's where we record Polish version for English programs. So our viewers, when they watch it in Polish television, they see TV and production, but here on the Polish language. Zaprogramowani do miłości można porównać z obrazem nowo powstającego budynku. Z XXI wieku liczy 200 tysięcy mieszkańców, z czego około 30% to. Co zrobić? Co zamierzasz zrobić? Co zamierzasz zrobić? Bóg nic nie mówi, mieją trzy. So basically what's happening in this room and the small little recording room there is basically you're taking some of our English productions exactly. and you're putting Polish language translation on them. Exactly. Got it, let's go. All right, so let's move on. We can go in here. This is a okay, room what, where we have staff meetings on Monday. Okay. And on Monday, every department uh, brings a report about production, marketing, finances. So from here, we start our weeks. We start with the prayer, report, okay. and task report. Okay. And then, is this map the entire Poland? This is entire Poland, but we keep our, uh, pictures of our employees who don't work in the building. Okay, so you have some employees that work from home or at a different place. Yes. And then we're here at the top, uh, very northern part. And how many people are just here? In, in Fry, uh, Free City area, we have one million people living in one lo in this big, big location. You, you see, uh, the cable networks are the most common uh, way, uh, tools to bring media to homes. So we, if we want to have lots of viewers, we will use cable system uh, to go to Polish homes. Got it. Okay, so staff meetings are happening here in this room. Okay, what happens here? The, uh, the, uh, this is Ola. She uh, uh, she's responsible for bringing, uh, uh, taking care of all the financial materials. And from this place, from this office, um, all the documents go to our accountant office. This brochure is now starting to show what programs you're taking from the TBN network. And Dr. Translating them, right? Yes. Dr. Caroline Leaf, Drive Through History with Dave Stotts. Okay, so this brochure was created for handing out to churches and, and Christians and yes. business people, that we, kind of thing. We printed 50,000 of them because wherever we send our uh, people or we are present or we organize an event, we uh, give uh, this catalog to everybody who is participating in the event. Beautiful. Okay, we'll follow you. Where are we yeah. headed? Uh, the room on the left, it's marketing uh, okay. room. So, okay. The marketing department, what is what what is the function of it? Okay, they um, work on two levels, offline okay. and online. So okay. they are responsible for all the events, uh, PR events, materials, business cards, uh, and also our website, our Facebook and Twitter. So all these social media printed materials, that's their job. But also, the Adrian is responsible with an, uh, another graphic man to work on graphics, our tripods, things like this. So if we produce anything, it must be accepted by David and then uh, it goes to a uh, post-production department. Got it. All right. So 
we're basically getting the look and feel of what TV and Polska is. And uh, okay, so what are we what are we seeing here? So we are working on the new website, and uh, each show will have its own land landing page, and with lots of content, videos, uh, episode summaries, galleries. Uh, and so on, and then we will promote the landing pages, drive traffic to the website. Okay, this is really responsible for social media, website design, content, the station okay. breaks. Branding and, and the show, show branding. Also, we closely cooperate with uh, production and post-production. We help them with the design, visual side uh, of things. Great job. Everything looks great. And so, P O D R O Z yes, kind of. Literally, it means tra travel through history. Travel through history. Pod and pronounce it. Podróż przez historię. Got it. That's drive through history in Poland. Okay. What basically happens in this room? What are the guys doing right here? They, they are responsible for two things. One is to uh, make sure streaming is uh, running on. Streaming, got it. Streaming 24-7. And then also they prepare materials that are sent to Madrid to be broadcasted on TV in Europe. Sent to Madrid. Madrid. To be put on satellite Hotbird that is seen here in Poland. Exactly. Okay. So the guys here, once a production is finished, it's given over to them and they send it by FTP or something like that. We use FTP, yes. FTP. So they send uh, finished programs to Madrid where we play out TB in Poland block of programming now on TB in Europe on Hotbird. Exactly. So that scene here, we have this completely 24 7 and these guys will be very busy. You're going to be adding a desk or two in this room, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Great job, guys. And right here, Chris what's going on here? Chris is responsible for IT. IT? So, uh, we call it backstage of our websites okay. and uh, social media. So are you a programmer? Uh, yes, I'm programming in PKP. Now I'm creating the small websites for our discovery program, which are, yeah, which are participated to help uh, to connect Israel and Poland uh, companies and people. Got it. Okay, so moving on, <laughs> Where, what else are we going to see this here? This is reception and Ola speaks English uh, and Ola actually is a uh, she's responsible for uh, uh, order of our productions. She w connects... Scheduling. Scheduling and she w uh, connects marketing and production department to make sure they work uh, in the right way. Nice. Okay, is this your office now? Yes. We've got a few more things to see on our tour here, but basically we have come from 2014 having an initial meeting with leaders and groups and now one of the one of the most amazing things i think christoph is that the catholic church is is just embracing tbn the new government is embracing tbn and you have given reports now that you're almost astonished at how well things are going for tbn poland Actually, it outgrew our expectations. Yeah. We prayed for TBN for so many years, but we never Im could imagine that so many Catholic priests and bishops and people and just average Polish person would be so interested in TBN or would be so uh, favorable for us. Wow. We have only 45,000 Christians in Poland, born again Christians. And Poland is a huge nation, 38 million. So it now tells that there's a huge need of gospel and church is too small to win people one by one, which is always good. But we believe we need to have to be in Poland that will go to every household. But uh, while we talk now, People watch ugly, dirty stuff and changes their thinking and destroys their lives. What we want uh, people to find out that TBN has something that will grasp the at their attention in seven seconds, eight seconds, and they will want to come back because this will be their channel. They will turn everything off and keep uh, TBN online all the time. 
because in Poland they believe they would be to be in Poland. So I was invited by Polish president office for a meeting where they were discussing media and education. President made this meeting just to talk about Christian values at homes and education. And they believe there should be media helping to develop homeschooling with Christian values. So I had a chance to share our vision and what TBN will be giving to our society, which is Christian values, Christ in the middle of that. So Poland is on good way, and that's what our president recognizes. We want to produce lots of good stuff. This must be the best channel Poland ever had. It sounds like a miracle in our uh, uh, history. Okay, TV in Polska is a miracle. Let's keep going. This is one of the edit suites. We were down showing the green screen just recently. This is, you know, kind of specialized shooting a lot of times, but you guys jumped right into it and you've got a big green screen studio. So the ability for the presenters to be put on a different background is what the green screen's for. Exactly. What happens here, Christoph? This is our call center, okay. which will uh, sh sure grow uh, when we have viewers uh, calling us. Because we've got uh, contact with viewers by social media and phone. That's okay. what happens here. Okay, so this is literally your call center. Exactly. So someone would see the number on the screen and they would call the number and we have two operational workstations now to take the phones 24 hours a day seven days a week there might need to be a few more uh, uh calls yeah <laughs> okay well, okay let's go back down to the main studio okay some of the good news that i've been hearing since we've been here is really how the people are accepting and you tell me again a little bit about you know the catholic organizations that are not being antagonistic and they're and they're actually supporting a little bit of that yes if you look around some of the employees are catholics okay so we don't separate catholics from evangelical churches okay we work together because we have one mission we, want, we have a mission from jesus christ to bring all the people in our country and around the world to his arms. Yeah. So we, we are joined together to fulfill our task. Most of them are very young and everybody is, very, uh, is young, but uh, we know how to work together. Yeah. There's, and that's why in Poland we have very good reception on the side of Catholic Church and people who are not part of any church. Yeah. At the beginning, one of the shocking statistics to, uh, rely on that this, you told us about, you know, a few years ago, the, the were just that there was maybe of, thirty or forty thousand, you know, evangelical Protestant Christians in the entire country, and so the fact that it was a small minority trying to light the fire for Christian TV, you found TBN. Years ago, what an amazing story of finding TBN and praying that one day this would happen. So what are your thoughts in regard to where you've seen God take the dream? You can see the finish line. We're, we're close here. Actually, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the most amazing thing is that we are doing this and there was almost no hope that would work. So, because uh, there I was think, not uh, many, there was nation. not uh, many Christians who would understand what would be mission of media or television Britain like TBN. And, uh, and now, uh, in the nation, which is huge, because there's almost 30 million people, we could gather people who are professionals in what they do. We have partners and friends, but also we have uh, growing staff, uh, which is almost 30 employees. We had to find them in different places in our country. We had to mm. build relationship, uh, build trust between them and us. We had to develop, you know, partner network. So within two years in a huge nation to find people willing to work together and support us, it was like going by, f in, you know, step by step. Every day worked hundreds of kilometers a week thousands of uh, kilometers uh, a month, so meeting uh, different people, sharing vision, and uh, looking into our hearts to, uh, to make sure they are part of uh, this task. Okay, when I 
came to the first meeting, I remember we had coffee and there were six or seven people sitting around a small table and then we did a meeting with a larger group and then we came back and formed a corporation and to see where the the polish and tb and polska has come from 2014 through 2016 i'm telling you it's a it's, it feels like a miracle to me this has been good seed to plant into these people are good people come here what do the people of Poland need to hear when your broadcasts go on? What, what's the best message for them? People believe if you love them, if you t talk to them in their language. So when we take programs from TBN, we choose the, uh, the ones that would be the most uh, Polish, uh, would be the best uh, programs for Polish viewers. So we, are, we have professionals who help us, and also we are led by Holgos to make sure this program on that time will be the best. That's where we invest our uh, uh, focus and energy. But also programs that we produce are not usual teaching materials, usually are testimonies, and, uh, and uh, we, we go with camera to people's homes, uh, their life, and we show their life changed by, uh, by the gospel. That's, uh, that makes our message uh, trustworthy. They believe us because we don't use only pulpit, we use people's life as a description, picture, testimony about God's love. So let's get a, an example of what you're talking about. Adam. Adam, come here. Okay, come stand right here, Adam. Okay, what, what is the story you want us to know about Adam? He was a businessman who didn't understand why his wife got saved and why his wife started to read the Bible and change her life. So he followed his wife to church and then when he came to church, he found out about TB and started to help and support us a lot. Yeah. Actually, well, we have uh, electricity for free because he installed a solar system on our roof. I want to just kind of point that out, it, that this TB and Polska studio facility is unique to the entire globe that I know of because on top of the building here is solar panels and when you come through the building whatever power isn't being used by the building they sell it and so what an amazing my dad my dad would love you okay uh, yeah so what else do you need the partners around the world to know about what's happening here at TV and Polska? You see valuable people who are aware that there is open window in Polish hearts for right now. We know from this, uh, our history, when hearts of people are open, you need to fill them with something. And TBN has a chance now to go to their homes and bring love and the gospel of Christ. We already pr uh, produced so many hours of programs and we'll produce lots of more programs. But uh, what we will show at homes, because they help us. It's our dream. Uh, we, we know Polish people are good people, but they need to get to know Jesus Christ personally. You're living really a miracle right now. The yes. window is open for the hearts of the Polish yes. people, and these people have rallied around the vision to make it happen for such a time as this. It's exactly. happening now, is that true? Yes, that's, we have unusual time in Poland. It's so easy for people to, be get, to get saved. They are so open. All the time, me and Ilona, we meet people, you would think they are not ready and they recognize uh, famous people, and they open their hearts in 20 minutes. They give their life to Jesus. Wow. We're in Dansk, near Dansk, Poland. And if you just tuned in, we're experiencing a miracle here. These studios, what were once a place where you pulled cars in to be fixed, now souls are being pulled in to be fixed. And, and you've renovated everything that you can see or touch or in this entire building is all brand new, been done in the last 11 months only. And programming is now what's happening. We are now basically to the point where T 
TBN Polska is 24 hours a day. So we came here on your behalf, on the TBN partners, on your behalf to show you what's going on. And so just so that the partners around the world can be included, a moment of prayer for dedication. And then let's think about these viewers watching their television sets all over Poland and remind them. So just take my hand and if you would pray a little bit in English, but some in Polish too. Okay, I will do both. Beautiful. Okay. Thank you. Well, najpierw po angielsku, potem po polsku. Father, I thank you that you had prepared the plan and you had your seeds in the ground. Thank you, Lord. And we believe that what you have given, we will not neglect. And your spirit of God, Holy Ghost, is pre has prepared hearts of our nation, of thank individuals you, who are ready to receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. And now we ask you to give us more strength Thank you, and to help us to keep on going, to not to lose the speed, but to speed up and do more and more because there's not much time left. And Father, we thank you. You have given your son and we are dedicated to give our lives because of his sacrifice. Also, we thank you for our friends and partners and for TBN family. We thank you that you have started by Paul and Jane Crouch, and now we take, take the, uh, the next step and we will continue the vision. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you for your love to all of us in our nation. Ojcze, dziękuję Ci w imieniu Jezusa, że co nam dałeś, my po, uh, weźmiemy to z łaski Twojej, bierzemy nie w naszej sile, nie w naszej mocy, ale dzięki Twojej zdolności i pomocy wykonamy zadanie. To jest ofiara Twojego Syna, która zaczęła to dzieło, I my będziemy kontynuować to wiernie z powodu ludzi, którzy czekają na Ewangelię Jezusa Chrystusa. Amen. 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 And everybody said? Amen. 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 So, from TBN Poland, right here in Gdańsk, near Gdańsk, Poland, goodbye. God loves you. We love you. And remember, let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Perfect. <laughs> we did it.